Hey guys, welcome to this new video. I am back today with a new vlog and it's gonna be a quarantine, uh, what I get up to every day type of video. I wanted to show you a few of things that I bought recently and I actually wanted to start filming early this morning, but um, my sleeping pattern has not been the greatest as I think most of yours as well. Uh, I went to sleep very late, I think like 3.30 last night or something and then I woke up late then I went on a treadmill quickly and you know took a shower and now it's like 3 p.m. already so I'm just gonna try to make the most of the daylight and uh, just film some stuff hopefully you will uh, enjoy this vlog and just yeah let's get to it as you can see I've been living in sweats and just put on makeup to look somewhat presentable it makes me feel a little bit more normal and like you know that there isn't really a big disruption going on in our lives but it is but let's ignore that fact okay so let's go and make some coffee so i think i'm gonna make an espresso with a bit of matcha inside i don't really remember what is it called but i know it's very popular drink in asia so it's like matcha latte basically with um like a shot or two shots of espresso and it's something that um some of the crew uh showed me back when i was a flat attendant I am so happy that I'm finally used to having oat milk in my coffee. Before, I didn't really like using um, different stuff like, you know, oat milk or almond milk. But now I'm quite a big fan. So, yeah. Um, now I'm going to add a bit of matcha and some water in my cup. And then we're going to turn on the coffee machine. By the way, this one is from Amazon. I've been crazy shopping on Amazon and most of the stuff I'm going to show you is from Amazon. Um, yeah, they say you need to add a thing about a teaspoon and as you see I've been having it for a few times now. Let me just add some water. I also ordered the whisk for matcha because you're meant to kind of whisk it because it doesn't really dissolve on its own like it still has like these little bubbles so but it still hasn't arrived and i think it's going to be quite some time before it um arrives because obviously it's not a priority type of item to be delivered for them and hopefully it comes at some point before i go back to dubai the matcha is ready and let's add the coffee with milk matcha with a shot of espresso inside you can add some sweetener um i used to like it with the sweetener but now i don't mind it on its own it's quite good like this as well so i decided i'm gonna fry an egg and i'm gonna add on the side these stuffed uh, peppers i love 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 them since i was a child for some reason and i had them actually yesterday as well and they're just so good. I'm not sure what cheese they add here because it's oh, it's ricotta. Sorry, duh. <laughs> anyway, so it's so good. Uh, let me know if you guys also like it. It's just yummy. So the egg is frying, and I cut up half an avocado. And look how perfectly ripe it is. It makes me so so happy. Um, but yeah, anyways, this is what is on the plate so far. I'm toasting a slice of bread. Ooh, sorry, it's very dusty. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm having for my very late breakfast slash lunch. And the food is ready. This is what I'm having. Avocado, cucumber, stuffed peppers, one fried egg on the toast and my matcha latte. So I will eat now and then I'll chat to you guys in a bit. So I'm still drinking my matcha and while I was eating I remembered that I quickly wanted to talk about two things and that is the TV series that I watched so far during this quarantine and also gaining weight and let's start with the fun part which is the TV shows. Um, so I to in total I've watched I think four shows already. I watched Spinning Out, uh, it's about ice skating and it's with Kaya Scodelario, it's a great um show is just one season and then the second show that i watched is called the assassination of gianni versace that was very intense very uncomfortable to watch so i don't know if i would recommend it to anyone but if you're interested in you know the story of gianni versace then maybe you can have a look um then the third show that i watched was recommended by my friend it's called why women kill and it was so much fun it's also just one season and it's very like desperate housewives type of style. So if you really like those kind of 
fun shows to watch, then I definitely recommend that one. Then the last show that I watched, I wouldn't really call it, I guess, a show, but it's Tiger King. And yeah, I just wanted to see what all the, you know, fuzz is about. And it's just, it was very interesting to watch. I felt really bad for those animals, but, you know, there's many crazy things going on in the world that we can't really control. Um, but yeah, that was a good watch. And as you can see, I don't really like shows that require a lot of time like you know i just like series with one two seasons maximum so you know i just don't really want to commit to a series that has a lot of seasons and i just kind of want to be done and over with it in like two days if i can but recently i started watching ozark and i think it has three seasons and it's just so so good i'm actually very surprised um yeah it's just very like intense great acting i'm almost done with season one and it is so so good if you're not following me on instagram go and have a look at i am brigitta and you will find um a quarantine highlight where i've written some of your suggestions and something that i've personally also watched as well in a list of movies and tv shows so if you don't have any ideas what to watch next have a look and maybe you'll get inspired and on to a not such a fun part which is gaining weight so i wanted to address this because a few people have written me they're like brie did you gain weight and i want to address the elephant in the room yes i have gained weight i've gained i think three kgs uh, my normal weight is between 69 to 70 kgs and now i'm around 73 so that's not fun but I don't feel uncomfortable about it. I think it's totally normal. You know, I'm moving way less. And I always went to classes in Dubai. So I don't really like working out at home. I just find it very hard um, to just, you know, find motivation to do it. And I just prefer to go to classes. And obviously, I haven't been doing that for over two months now. And the only thing that I do is go for a walk or run on a treadmill. But I'm not a big runner. And it's very hard for me to do that. But yeah, I don't know. Tell me guys, what are you doing if you're working out or if you're being a lazy couch potato? Either way is fine. Once our lives resume back to normal, we're gonna, you know, get back into the shape that we were before. So I'm just like, you know, not stressing too much about it because it's just totally normal if, you know, you're staying at home way more to be a little bit more fluffy. I'm safe, I'm healthy, and that's all that matters. And that is how you guys should also see it in case you have gained weight. Just, you know, who cares, honestly. I am done with my late lunch and uh, before I go uh, and show you what I bought so far this quarantine, I wanted to shout out a brand called Horizon Studios. Thank you guys so much for sending me a new suitcase that I really, really needed because, yep, I've been shopping a bit too much and yeah, it's perfect because I was overdue for a new suitcase anyways. I bought my suitcases, I think, about four years ago when I was moving to Dubai, so I just, you know, definitely needed a new replacement because I've been traveling quite a bit over the last few years and yeah thanks so much guys and let me show you which one I chose so I chose this beautiful uh like nude pink color it is called pale rose the model of the suitcase is H7 um it is a four-wheel suitcase they have also like cabin bags with smart um chargers over here but obviously i needed a more spacious kind of uh, suitcase also you can get like a personalized tag as well but i chose a smart charger because that's very handy for when you travel you know your girl sometimes runs out of battery life so that's gonna be very handy and in case you guys are in search of a suitcase um, I have a discount code for Horizon Studios. I am Brigitte15 and there's a personalized link down below in the description box for you guys as well. So yeah, thank you so much Horizon Studios. You guys are awesome. Now I'm going to show you guys what I bought so far from Amazon. I went on a little shopping spree and I'm waiting for a few more packages to arrive. Um, but I just wanted to say um, as a little disclaimer that none of this stuff is sponsored or... Um, you know that I was paid to promote or whatever it's all my personal um, things that I really wanted to buy for quite some time and I just thought okay let me just place the order they have some really good sales I opened some of the stuff already just to test it out and uh, yeah I'm just excited to start using all of it let's start with probably the most exciting item um, at least for me <laughs> so I asked you guys on Insta stories for your tips in choosing an electric toothbrush and a lot of you were saying choose Oral-B, choose Oral-B. I was about to order Oral-B and then one of you actually sent me a very good article and 
it changed my mind. So I decided to go for the Philips Sonicare Diamond Clean uh, toothbrushes. I got a set as you can see. Let me show you guys. I took it out because I'm already using mine. So I got this one for me. Uh, it's like this rose gold color. Let me show you guys JD's. So this is how it arrives. The second part of the toothbrush is just somewhere in the box. But um, yeah, I really like that it comes with like this travel box. It's very, very handy uh, case to have um, because JD is obviously flying and stuff and I am traveling to London quite frequently. So yeah, and I really love this color actually. So I'm not gonna get into like technical um, aspects of the toothbrushes that much. Um, I'm just gonna say that one of the things that really sold it for me was the fact that it's very quiet compared to like Oral-B. Um, and I've been using it for about two days now and honestly it just leaves my teeth and my mouth super clean i feel like i just went to a dentist for dental cleaning that's how i feel after using this toothbrush so it's pretty amazing and they have it on sale right now so i think one is actually like 300 pounds but then this set comes for 400 pounds and then right now the sale that they have going on is like 179 pounds for two so basically I paid like 90 pounds for one so I think that is an amazing deal and yeah I'm just very very happy with this purchase okay, moving on the second item an electric item is this portable steamer actually guys I have it out here because I have used it yesterday and this is very recommended item by one of my friends Gabriela. So Gabriela, if you're watching this, thank you for recommending this. This is a lifesaver. Honestly, I hate ironing so much. So this is just awesome. You remove this and like, look, it's like the size of my hand basically. It's gonna be going with me everywhere now. Honestly, love, love, love this. And it's super cheap. So I'm gonna link it also down below. Next we have silky skin facial cupping items let me maybe take it out for you guys um this is something i saw on megan mercilehi's uh vlog that i was very intrigued by um she actually got a little bruise because i think she pressed it too hard and it left like a bruise on her face but i definitely want to try it because i think it's very good for like you know elasticity of your skin and just general circulation and all that so i'm just gonna be super careful but i'm very excited to try this um very probably useless purchase i guess <laughs> but yeah i'm excited let's see how it's gonna go so next is this konjac sponges that i ordered um i think there are three yeah exactly there are three of them um they are kind of like a light exfoliating type of sponge that I would probably use once or twice a week. Um, so I have very sensitive skin, so I try not to be too harsh on it, uh, but I think this should be um, quite light and effective. Then I ordered this blackhead remover toolkit. I know it's a little bit gross, um, but I just really wanted to have one just in case I have like a nasty pimple and I don't want to, you know, use my hands and stuff. Um, I don't really think that any salons will be open soon. I actually have to go for like a laser treatment on my nose, um, but I will talk about that some other time. And I know that like literally all the cosmetic uh, salons and all that are currently, I think, closed everywhere. So yeah, I just will use this in case I have unwelcome guests on my face. Um, then over here, continuing the topic of facial care, I have Germain de Cappuccini exfoliating scrub. Um, this is actually my first product from this brand, but I've been meaning to try them for the longest time because I had a facial once, I think in Senegal, like, I don't know, it was somewhere random. But anyway, so they've been using this brand and I think it is a Spanish brand, if I am not mistaken. And honestly, I was so, so pleasantly surprised by how awesome these products are. So I'm very excited to have um, this exfoliating scrub. If I'm also not mistaken, this is one of like their best selling items. So yeah, I don't know guys, if you've ever tried this brand, share with me your feedback. I'd love to hear if any of you are using it. 
Um, it's a little bit pricey, I'm not gonna lie, but I think, you know, for your face, it's really, really worth it. So, yeah. Then over here, I have two um, moisturizers. One is by Paula's Choice. It has SPF 30, so that's awesome for Dubai or just generally anywhere, really. And this one was recommended by my friend. She said she's been repurchasing this one many many times so yeah i just picked up two um i love trying new facial products so i'm gonna maybe share with you soon um an updated skincare routine it's been a long time since i shared it with you but i'm in the process of testing a lot of new products so stay tuned for that just a few more things i repurchased my favorite eyeliner from nyx i honestly have been using this for probably more than two years it's just honestly the best I bought um, some other eyeliners, but none of them were as good as this one in my opinion. It just stays on all day and it's like cheap and it's just great. Then I needed a new um, setting spray, so I just picked this one up. I haven't used it before, but um, it was sold out on a couple of websites that I checked, so luckily it was available on Amazon. Then I picked up a few things from Evo, which is a hair care brand and these are just like styling powder and texture paste so i've been using lush mostly for like setting my hair style but i decided to give this brand a try i heard that it's pretty pretty good so i'm excited to have a go at this new product then i just picked up a new glass protector for my phone and a new case and one more item sorry guys i know it's been a long time process i picked up this dry brush for the body um i know a lot of people pick up the brush that is like very like with a long handle but i thought that it's going to be more comfortable to use it like this just to put it on your palm and kind of like use it for brushing your legs so if you don't know what dry brushing is uh, look into it it's very very good for your skin as well as the lymphatic drainage so yeah and two last items that i wanted to mention are also recommendations from my friends so these are hair products from this brand called davines and uh, so i got this nourishing vegetarian miracle conditioner it is absolutely incredible i didn't expect that it's going to be this good let me quickly open and show you guys so look how little did i use and honestly, my hair smells amazing and it is moisturized and just feels so silky and so, so smooth. So I am obsessed with this product. I also got this all-in-one milk from the same brand. So it's kind of like a leave-in spray. And honestly, just I've never had such silky smooth hair. Again, emphasizing this is not sponsored. I paid money for all of these items and I am so, so happy with the products that I've tried so far. So now I'm going to reply to some Instagram messages um, that have just, you know, piled up a little bit. And I just love replying on my laptop because I just managed to reply to many more messages um, on the laptop rather than my phone. And also I wanted to say thank you guys for your comments um, on the yesterday's video about, you know, the anxiety and the panic attacks that I have shared about and I will reply to all of your comments as well. So thanks so much. It really, really means a lot to me that, you know, you can relate and to the content that I share and just trust and share your stories. It's just awesome. Hey guys, so it is actually uh, many hours later. It's almost midnight. I spent a lot more time than I expected replying to all the comments and old messages. Did a bit of work on the laptop and as you can see, it's night already. So it is just a little bit after midnight. I think I'm gonna make a cup of tea and grab my book and just have an early night. Hopefully I can get sleepy. Yeah, so let's go make some tea and then I think that's it for this video.